Hi, welcome to the video Install Apache Derby Database in NetBeans IDE with me, Nam Amin from CodeJava.net. Through this video, I will guide you how to download a distribution of Derby Database and then how to configure Derby Database or JavaDB in NetBeans IDE. You know, Derby uh, Database uh, was included in uh, JDK under the name of JavaDB. But from uh, JDK 9, it was removed uh, from uh, JDK. And then uh, I will show you how to start the B network server and how to make a client connection to the uh, running the B database server. First, uh, we need to download a distribution of the B database. So head over to the home page of uh, the B database at this URL db.apache dot org slash the b you know uh, this is the home page official home page of apache the database and click the menu download here and here we choose to download the latest version of uh, the beta base version 10 point uh, 15.2.0 here that requires java 9 and higher so click this link and choose the suggested mirror side and uh, there are many directories here and go into the uh, db uh, directory here and then go into the db directory here and go in the uh, version 10.15 and for Installing the B database on uh, Windows with NetBeans IDE, we choose to download the binary distribution of the B database, which is this the zip archive file here, yeah. db, db version, and bin.zip. So click here to download the file. Okay, download complete and uh, so in folder. And I move uh, this zip archive file onto a separate directory. And here, I create a new folder, uh, the B, and uh, paste the zip archive file, the distribution uh, archive file of the B database here, and extract here. And then we can download the zip file. Sorry, we can delete the zip file. And this is a home directory of Apache DB database. Yeah, you know. And this is NetBeans IDE. And uh, I will show you the version of NetBeans uh, I'm using here. You can see I'm using Apache NetBeans IDE version 12.1 with uh, Java 15. Uh, open ZDK 15. Okay, and uh, in NetBeans, uh, you can see the view services here. You see, if you don't see this uh, services view, you can open it from the menu uh, window. Mm, IDE tools. No, window, window and services here. Or press the shortcut key, control and 5 here. To open the service view here, and under the this services view, you can see the node databases, and under database you can see Java DB here. This is the name of the B in JDK. And to configure the B database in that means right click on this node and click properties. And here you need to specify the installation directory of the B here. So click the browse button here and point to the installation directory of the B database, which is a directory I created previously here. This is the home directory of the B database. Click open and choose a database location is a directory where you want to create uh, the B databases. Uh, here I choose uh, the uh, the B directory on the D driver is a database location 
งานคลิกโอเคนะ we can see in the uh, services view yeah it created a JDBC URL connection uh, uh, to the default database and uh, yeah you can right click on the Java DB and click start server to start the uh, database server in uh, network mode current server mode and in the output you can see it uh, prints uh, some information from the javadb database process here apache db network server started and ready to accept connection on port number 1527 here that means the apache db database server has started successfully and it is waiting for current connections Now let me show you how to make a client connection here. Uh, you can see when we start the server, it automatically creates uh, a ZDBC URL connection here. So we can right click and click uh, connect. And you can see the error unable to connect here. That means uh, we need to configure a ZDBC driver for the B. Can show and uh, under the section drivers here you can see there are two types of uh, zdbc driver embedded and network here i want to connect to the server in client server network mode so we need to configure the java db network driver here so right click here and click customize uh, for the network driver uh, we need to have two Java files uh, which are the B clan and the B dot is not need so click remove and click add button to add another Java file from the DB installation directory here yeah. uh, because the version of admins ID uh, is not up to date with uh, version of the B database so here in the lib directory uh, we choose the DB shared jar file here and click the file button here to let NetBeans automatically find the driver class and you can see it shows the driver class is clan auto loaded driver here and click OK and now all right click on the connection here and click connect Uh, it's because the database uh, sample doesn't exist so we got this error so you can change the uh, URL connection here or it's better to delete this connection to make a new one here right click from the database is node and uh, Create a new connection to the B database in network mode. Yeah. With the two the files, the B clan and the B share. Click next. Uh, we don't use any username and password and uh, specify the JDBC URL is JDBC colon the B colon. And then the database name is, uh, for example, um, uh, shop me DB. And we need to specify this parameter create equal to to create a shop me database on the server and click next oh, sorry for network clan uh, driver we need to specify the host name local host and the port number 1527 here and then the database name so this is a uh, uh, JDBC URL for the B database in network mode and it will create the new database uh, named ShopMeDB here and click next okay that means the database ShopMeDB has been created successfully and select the default schema name is app here and click uh, next and 
finished and you can see the new uh, connection appears here and we can uh, click the plus icon here to see the tables in the database but this database is new uh, so there's uh, no table yet in the table section here then you can create a new table here uh, for example I create a very simple table named users with uh, column ID in data type is integer okay and another column is uh, name data type is Nevacha Nevacha with the size is 45 characters okay and click OK to create the table and you can see the table is uh, got created here with two columns ID and name here and you can also right click on the table to execute command of view data a very convenient to manage uh, the B database is right inside NetBeans IDE. You see, select all rows from the user's table, and but this time it, it is empty. And to disconnect from the server, right click on the connection name here, click uh, disconnect, and you see the connection has been closed. And then you can stop the server here, right click, stop server, and you can see the message in the uh, output uh, server output here shut down here and uh, we can connect again and uh, start the server again okay the server has been uh, started and right click on the connection here connect again uh, because uh, we don't uh, specify any username and password so just click ok ok connected and you can see the table uh, users here so uh, it's very convenient to managing uh, manage uh, the database uh, with that means IDE using the services view here databases node here so far you have learned how to install and configure Apache the database in that means IDE uh, let me uh, summarize the key step First, you need to download a distribution of the B database uh, and extract the zip archive file here and in NetBeans IDE uh, you need to use the services view under the databases node here uh, right click on JavaDB properties to uh, specify the JavaDB or the B installation directory here and then you need to uh, update the uh, jar files for the network uh, driver as well as embedded driver and uh, uh, make a new connection uh, from here and then you can uh, manage the database uh, very conveniently in uh, NetBeans IDE I hope you will find this video helpful please uh, help me to grow this channel by subscribing and then like comment and share this video thank you